Twenty-one ways to think positively about weight management by Zahin Nanji, author of award-winning book *Attract Your Ideal Weight: Eight Secrets of People Who Lose Weight and Keep It Off*. Deprivation and feeling guilt causes pain. Learn how to take pleasure in your food and be at your ideal weight. Change the way you use your words. Instead of saying "I am fat," state it as a behavior. "I'm struggling with my relationship with food." It is easier to change a behavior. Living in alignment with our values creates a feeling of congruency and success. Create a positive relationship with food and your body by planning ahead. Chunk it down. This concept is great for managing goals, portion size, calorie intake, serving size, substitution, and elimination. For example, you can have one cup of coffee versus three cups of coffee, or one can of soda versus three cans of soda. Sacrifice. Means giving up of something valuable for something else considered to be of more value or importance. Can you sacrifice some of your favorite foods for something that is even more important, your health? We're made of two parts, mind and body, yet these are interlinked and affect each other. A negative behavior has a secondary gain. This secondary gain keeps you safe from something. Keep the momentum going by changing your words. For example, "I want to be thin" is more positive. "I don't want to be overweight" is more negative. Notice how you have images in your head when you say. I don't want to be overweight. Stop playing victim. You can change the past. You can change those around you. You can change you. Behaviors are learned and can be easily unlearned. Adopt new and effective behaviors. Big goals or long-term goals can be overwhelming. Chunk it down. If you're eating what is closest to earth and keeping active, then trust your body and retire the weighing scale. Don't wait to eat until you're starving. You will tend to overeat. Eat when slightly hungry and always carry a snack with you. A conflict in your beliefs and values creates the pattern of self-sabotage. To create a healthy lifestyle, develop healthy, consistent habits and behaviors that serve you well. People who lose weight and keep it off find other effective ways of dealing with their emotions. Listen to your body. Instead of gravitating toward instant gratification, listen and ask, "How will I feel after eating this?" Versus, instant gratification is, "This smells and looks good. I'm gonna eat it." It is possible to attract your ideal weight if you have the mindset and attitude to support your success. Whenever you use food to numb a feeling or change the way you feel, it is disempowering. Acknowledge your feelings and ask, "What am I gaining from this?" Think of three ways you can deal with the situation better. Healthy people have a great relationship with food because they believe they deserve it. Access my award-winning ebook. For ninety-nine cents only on Amazon today.